Between a finch and linnet bird, nightingale, blackbird, how is it you sing? Oh, can you jubilate, sitting in cages, never taking wing? Outside the sky waits, beckoning, beckoning, just beyond the bars. How can you remain staring at the rain, maddened by the Hey guys, so this is my Greenfinch inspired look and it's actually a contest entry for um, a competition where you have to go as a glamorous animal. Um, so I am a glamorous Greenfinch um, because I watched the like some of the responses because I think it ends tonight, it might be tomorrow night, I'm not sure, but it ends soon and I was watching some of the responses to kind of see what competition I was up against um, and all of them were like leopards and zebras and like all these really you know, proud cats and stuff like that so I thought I'll try and be a glamorous bird that could blatantly work um if it didn't I had a lot of fun making this anyway um it's as you can see it's very green there's yellow and because there's blue bits on the green finch's feathers I went a bit wild and I went with blue lipstick as well um because I thought it looked awesome and um, yeah, so here is how I did it. So the first step towards creating the green finch eyes is we're going to take a bright, bright yellow colour and I'm using this one from the Beauty UK palette, which you can get in Superdrug for 2 99 And I'm just going to use a small brush, like this one here, which is my H&M one. And that's just gonna go in the inner corner. And then it's also going to go underneath the eyes, so I'm just going to take an eyeliner brush, which is somewhere on my desk. Mm, nope. There it is. It's fallen on the floor. So we're just going to work that around, and that's just going to go underneath it all. And it's going to go underneath quite thickly. Okay. Then the next step we're going to do is we're going to stay using the Beauty UK palette and we're going to use this really nice green at the top. And that's just going to cover the rest of the eyelid all the way up to the crease. And just blend it in with the yellow and make sure it goes all the way around. Okay, then that's if we take the same eyeliner brush that we used a minute ago, that's just going to go on the outside of underneath. Oh, that's gone way too far on that side. That's just going to go just on the outer bit, just to kind of connect the two colours up and it's going to blend in okay then we're going to take some liquid eyeliner, I'm using a black one um, but a dark blue one would look really really nice with this look so I'm going to take my one which is why does everything go missing when I'm doing tutorials? Nothing can just stay in its place. There it is. So we're going to take this one by the Makeup Academy, which I got in TJ Hughes, and that's just going to go on the top lash line. It's going to be a thin ish line. I'm going to have to get another mirror out. I can't see what I'm doing in the webcam. Okay. 
there we go and then I'm going to take a pencil liner to go in the waterline and that's going to be zero by Urban Decay that's again going to be quite thin there we go now I was going to use some blue false lashes to go on my eyes um, but I'm a bit rubbish at putting false lashes on and I couldn't figure it out so after many futile attempts and just playing getting bored of it I gave up and I'm going to black ooh hang on actually I just remembered about my awesome blue mascara which could work even better than false lashes I think so I'm going to take that there it's really really cool obviously I have put black mascara on that side and that side now so it's going to come up darker which is quite good because the green finch's blue colour is quite dark so we don't want it ridiculously light like this would come out normally but it's just going to give it that sort of blue hint towards the eyes see as you can see there I think that's quite nice actually it's not too much but it's not too little at the same time And yeah, this one's by Rimmel. It's the Extra Super Lash in blue. Right, now onto the lips. Now, I did want blue lips, so I'm going with my Stargazer, which is that blue there, because the Green Finch has the blue colour to it, and this is quite a dark blue colour. So, I'm just going to put that on. Okay, so there's the blue lips, um, which do look a little bit crazy, but this is a crazy look. Um, and yeah, that is my blue finch, sorry, green finch inspired makeup look. I know it's actually ridiculously not green, but it's because I like the blue bit the more. Um, if I had green lipstick, I would have done that. Um, but yeah, stay tuned um, for future videos. I've got a few more ideas coming up, um, and yeah. Bye.